Hi everyone, the Pokemon fan, not tired to hear back with more Final Fantasy XII and the Zodiac Age. Holes only challenge. Now, he's way to explain the challenge is I'm not allowed to use anything, any weapons, holes for the entire playthrough if I can't use... I can't use any shields because the holes are too many weapons. If I do not have a pull for a character, with the exception of guest characters and certain other uh, allies, I am not allowed to equip anything at all. So, um... During the last episode, we ended up getting brought to Leviathan. Uh, Bossler was here to help us, and now we have him as a party member. We can't really look at much of his equipment, but he has a big-ass sword and a decent amount of defense. His uh, skills are okay. He's got a bunch of different ways to hurt, harm enemies, and he's got a couple of magics, too, I believe, that might be slightly useful. Oops. So he's got Soul Eater, uh, Wither, and tells him to expose and travel. Nothing too crazy. Um, we don't have a proper healer yet, so we have to be careful going through here, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as we have Fry in our party at all times. Because she's the only one that has the cure magic at the moment. Wait. A word of caution before we set out. See that red web of light spanning the passageway? It is a mechanism to detect intruders within the ship. Break one of those beams and an alarm will sound, summoning the guard. The alarm should cease after a time, but it's better to avoid drawing unnecessary attention. Come, her majesty awaits. Now it tells us to avoid those lights at all costs, but they cut off certain parts of the um, map. So what's going to happen essentially is, first we're going to come over here. We have two enemies here, they're both um, Imperials. They don't set off the alarm, they're gonna keep running that run that way. Got a high potion blue chest, might help. And now we're basically just ignore us, we're gonna go right through. Basically all the enemies are not gonna be drawn to us, they're on the floor. With some if you wait too, too long, they'll uh, they will also spawn, keep spawning until you obviously die or you're fast enough to knock them out. Okay, we've got everything set up. They're not very much of a threat, but everyone attacking the same uh, person. And with Bond technically stealing potions and stuff from them, it's not hard to keep potions and stuff going. So head through here again. It's going to attract even more guards, but I don't care. Map. Here comes some more enemies. There's something you can do about the alarm, but right now there's very little point of trying even trying to do that. Knock out the enemy that's here, the one that's here. Imperial Magus, meaning he, he uh, casts. Uh, let me move my thing over a little bit so you can see the action that's going on here. It's always hard to get exactly where I want the camera. Let's put it right here. Seems like a best best place for it. Lock it. So go nowhere. All right. Now we head down this way over into the next area. Luckily, Fran has not had to use her cure magic yet, because I think mostly I've been buying really good equipment and everything, so... Plus, the poles are very strong, so... Stole a potion. Taints his skill in a high potion. Steal. Stole potion. Couldn't steal. There was just gang up on him. Tained eight gills, stole a potion from him. Throw an eight. Turned eight gills, tained a potion. I tained thirteen gill. And I'm at a Chen chain on uh, Imperials. So um, here's something interesting here: is that there's gonna be three chests sitting right here. Depending on which order you get them in, or four chests actually, depending on what order you get them in, they might contain better fries, but I don't know the order and I don't care to know the order. I don't think there's anything really here, and I can visit this area once or twice, so. Alright, so let's just grab them. Obtain a reflective emote, a pinch of echo herbs, a gold needle, and reflect. Okay, so reflective emotes put reflect on characters within range of it. And, um,. 
I said you what that does it. Any magic that casts against the user who has it just reflects it back to the enemies. I, re I very rarely will use reflect in this game. 224 gil off the chest there. Is there anything on the other side? Nope. So now we gotta head down here. Go through the door over here and that'll lead us, get us closer to the, to the ship's interior and to Ash. Which, and we're also trying to still find Pinello that's been, she's been gone for like, I don't know. In real time, probably like three weeks. Probably dead. Anyway. Now she's with Larson, never mind. I forgot about that part. So there's gonna be more laser traps around here, and like I said, the best way to just get around them is to either... Hang on. Uh, OBS is screwing up. There we go. Um... It's just eliminate as many of them as you can without setting off the alarm, and then dealing with the rest of them when you can. Weapon pain stole a potion from Mastiff A. Bond steel failed. Taint six gill. Bosch got poisoned. Taint seven gill. Taint an arrow moat. Let's heal Bosch with an antidote. Do I have an arrow moat already? No, I don't. Okay, so not bad stuff. Um, how many potions do I have now? Oh yeah, I still I apparently I used a lot when Larsa was in my party or uh Lamont was in my party. We figured out it was Larsa. Steel. Block that one. That one's done. Might as well piss him off a little bit. Cause I like to be that person. Anyway, now now the Imperials are here are well a real threat anyway. Swordsman B, paint 8 gill. Nothing over there. Man, you're slow if you can go over here the time that alarm was going off. Couldn't steal. Pain 9 gill, taint the potion. Steal. Off the alarm again. That time I had to do it. I just wanted to go all the way back around. Still a tough Phoenix down from an Imperial Swordsman D. Paint 8 gill. Still an add over Imperial Magus B. Paint 7 gill. Still a potion for Imperial Hoplite C. Obtained 9 gill. Obtained a potion. Now you can actually stop that alarm from going off, but doing so is a slight pain. I really don't want to do it. First, what we're going to do here, there's a boss fight coming up, so we're going to heal everyone with a couple potions. Not using Fran's healing kit, she needs it for the fight. Wow, boss would have taken no damage this entire time. I don't need to be fully healed, I just need to be mostly healed. Uh, let's see, okay, we're good on that. So this group of enemies just consists of a bunch of soldiers and some judges, which are stronger than normal soldiers. Boss will make a comment, but your, your best bet is just to straight up ignore that comment and do the exact opposite. Fear not their numbers. Take down the leaders and the others will follow. So basically what you want to do here is you actually want to get, get rid of the... Um... The actual... Uh, everything but the judges first. Luckily, I think in this stage, none of them are really a threat. So we're all going to go after the Imperial Swords in A and knock him out. I did manually just to make sure we're hitting the same guy. Bond needs to use an uh, eye drop here. Fran's going to go after that one. Going to go after him as well, and so is Bossler. Bond is now level 14, that's good. Boss, we got hit by uh, another blind, so let's Vaughn, have Vaughn attack Imperial Swords in C, have Fred attack Imperial Swords in C, and then have Bosch attack Imperial Swords in C. Hmm. 
let Vons do what he needs to from the enemies, and then I think Vons good the way he is, yeah. Alright, so we got rid of the his, their backup, so now the rest of it should be quite, quite easy. Jeez, that's right, Fred, my name, and you need to use cure. I take the lemon gill. I could have made it through the entire match without using one cure spell. Alright, done. 16 chain. I got 7 LP for being each judge. Done. Congratulations. Alright, now it's out of the way. We obtain the key to get into the brig. And we can use that to get in here. There are several things we get in here, including obviously finding ass. But we're going to save that for another moment. The lock opens. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here. There are merchants in here that got in prison for walking along something or other. They're going to tell me. Kupo, you don't want to get in prison. I've seen Kupo. Be Kupo, I'm a humble traveling merchant. As luck would have, I have any traveling here. You see my wares? I warn you, though. I only sell the one kind of customer. The paying kind, Kupo. We got nothing to sell, but there might be something in here worth grabbing. I already got the bail wheel before everyone, so there's nothing really there. Hold up. I'm going to be getting two other party members pretty quick here, so let's grab two more of those. No, not now. And as for equipment, yeah, I've already got, um, I should grab two more of each, actually. No. I know only the, um, my current class can use the armor and weapons, so a merchant worth it, so to do one thing to think, to do a business, a customer can grow. What the other guy leave you to say? No. Kubo, not a word from you. Kubo, oh, I know why you've come. Oh, well, thank you for opening the cell door, by the way, both gracious of you. At this stream, I don't think we're safe they went traveling anymore in her worships in the near future. The road calls, Kubo. Jesus, that music's getting loud. The crystal in here, along with a map of the ship. I think. Pretty sure. Paint a system access key. Okay, so that key can be used to, um, turn off the alarm, but as high level as we are, we really don't need it. Open this one. This one has nothing in it. But the one behind us has ash in it. You are unharmed? Mossler, I... Uh... Majesty. It's nothing. I'll be fine. You. Come on, come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Pinello's still out there. We should hurry. They won't be long. We will talk later. Ash joins the party. So first we're going to do is Ash is actually a decently high level, so we don't have to worry about her for a while. However, going to her license board and getting, obviously, the monk class is my first priority. So you have to be able to use the, um, holes. That's the easiest way to get them. You know, the LP that I have not used on her is going to be distributed to her all at once. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab... The, what do we need? Light armor 3, I think it is. Open up all these. Now we're gonna get, make sure we have the battle bamboo. Bamboo, not bamboo. <laughs> uh, hole that we can equip to her. And there it is right there. Okay. Now we're gonna focus on getting her HP up to where everyone else is. So we're gonna grab all the HP increases. Now, Ash is interesting now because she also has the pure spell, which is very helpful. Grab all this. Make sure I get all of them. Okay, that's good on that. Now we need to get her a quick enable, which we want is right here. Yes. There's Northwind's Glow. Good. Let's grab her Libra. We're going to need that. After dealing damage and after taking damage, that's because both are going to come in handy for what she's going to be. Let's grab her... that slot. Get her things so of course, we're supposed to restore more HP. 
there's another HP increase right here, too. Did everyone else get that one already? I, I wonder. They did not. I should get that for everyone. That's, I have enough. Nobody needs 70 CP for Vaughn to get that. Probably the same for everyone else, too. Nope. Both here just has just enough to get it. Same thing for Frame. I think she's... Yeah, she's lacking 11, C, 11 LP. I don't know why I keep saying CP. I must be playing a different game. And not real. And then, uh, forgetting that I'm playing this one. Uh, let's see. Grab the light armor for him. Try to fill out more of this grid here. Okay, we're good on that, I think. And now we have to give Ash all that stuff. Perfect. Not to go into gamuts and mess with Ash's stuff, because she has the potion thing, but it's not really usable. So we're going to do ally might under 30% HP like we do for, for Fran. We should have the cure spell. Yes. Just making sure that's the same one she has. Bow, party leader's target. Attack. Now we're good on that. We're going to go back to the room here because we're going to need to get all our HP and MP back that we just spent so far. It's going to tell me I can't leave the area. We might want to save to a new file. There's one more boss before we leave this area, and he, he can be difficult if you let him be difficult. Let's put it that way. And here they go, set the alarm. He's going to attract all enemies toward us. Majesty. We will cut your path. I will not place my trust in the sword of a traitor. Yet trust his sword we must, traitor or no. I see no other way. We track back. Commandeer a ship and make our escape. Also, I do apologize. My stream was supposed to be today, but I ended up going to uh, a store to help my cousin uh, pick up a 50-pound bag of dog food. She's got a bad back, so that's why I didn't stream today. Or why I'm not going to stream today. Also, I uh, uploaded videos at 9 p.m. EDT, which is Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, let me know in the comment section if that's like too late, too early for you guys. I'm trying to figure out a good time to upload it. I might start uploading maybe three hours earlier just to make sure it's decent instead of at 8, 9 o'clock at night when a lot of people are trying to wind down and not like watch this stuff. I have no idea. She cannot abide weakness, least of all in herself. We must make her confront the reality of our plight. Alright, so let's get going. Now, with the alarm being on all the time, it doesn't matter if I pass through any of those barriers now. And there's also going to be, obviously, enemies constantly coming at us, but we've had little to no problem with the enemies so far, so I'm not worried about that. Me and your are going to be crowded with groups of them. Like I said, this shouldn't be an issue. Obtain 11 gil. Mega's Captain Blind. Bot's been poisoned. And boss has been blinded. Sweet says tax will no longer land. I gotta make sure he was an eye drop on himself. So he can start hitting again. Poison is deals damage, but I'm not worried about that in the middle of the battle. Not as much as I would be for blind. Still an Ando. So there's the Ando I'm gonna use on Vaughn. Just got it back. Did I ever I could have sworn I turned the volume down for this stuff? Okay. Just trying to turn it down a little bit because that alarm is very loud. Plus, I make it too loud, too loud, you guys will never hear what I'm saying. So, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to come this way. This way doesn't lead to anything. What well, does is just a long way around, and there's enemies in here which will give me extra EXP and LP, which is useful in almost any situation early in the game. Alright, let's go. Okay, they all come. Obtain 11 gil. Magus catch him blind. It misses boss, so that's good. Obtain 11 gil. Couldn't steal. Obtain 11 gil. Obtain 11 gil. So an antidote from Pyro Magus A. Obtain 9 gil. Catch him blizzard. Obtain 9 gil. Obtain the potion. Obtained a potion from... Stole a potion. 
Okay, nine gil, hit stole a potion. Last field sticks, failed, was not holding an item. Stole a tough of a phoenix down from a hero sword with E, I think eight gil. Another enemy, huh? Maybe I come to here because it's actually some place right here off the map that you can't see. And I remember grabbing some good items from this area around here, so we're gonna see what we can find. I think normally, I think the first time I got an assassin dagger from around here, obtained infuse. Let me see what that is. I think that's an ability. I spend all MP charging one ally ten times that amount. Okay. And then we have a high potion. Okay, not bad. High potions will probably become obsolete pretty quick here, but it might be good to hold on to a few of them. So a dark moat. It's a rare steel. Okay, seven gil. Okay, the potion. Okay, the eleven gil. Okay, another eleven gil. Stole tough of the phoenix down. Okay, the potion. Nothing to steal from that enemy. Obtained 11 gil, obtained a potion. So that SST can be used right here in order to stop the alarm, but I'm not even going to try. It only stops for about 30 seconds, and you start losing uh, stuff from enemies, so I prefer to knock the enemies around to get experience and chains, rather than assaulting the silencing the alarm. Speaking of which, everyone should have enough license points now to get that extra HP increase. Those who didn't get it already, I mean. Okay, good on that. Keep going. Tain of Vega, that is a gun. And 219 gil. Some more enemies. Obtained eight gil. Still a potion. Obtained eight gil. Obtained a potion. Obtained eight gil at a twenty-one chain. Still a tough of Phoenix down. Bosch is now level 13. Stole a potion. Obtained 11 gil. Stole a potion. Obtained 8 gil. <laughs> Our chain's gonna end right here because of the Mastiff. Stole a tough of the Phoenix down. Couldn't steal. Obtained 11 gil. Cast Blizzard, but didn't do too much. Red has barely even used her heal spells at all during this entire thing. Almost there, I think. Enemies we have to deal with. Obtained eight gil. Obtained eight gil. Chest. Get your echo herbs. That heals a uh, silence when used on an ally or enemy. <sighs> hey, 
Hey, there she is. Alan. <sighs> it's okay. We're okay. Geese knows you've escaped. You must hurry. You are Captain Azalus. You will follow me. You must reach the airships before they do. You would let us leave knowing who we are. Lady Ash, by all rights, you ought not even to exist. That you and Captain Ronsenberg were made to appear dead is like a hidden thread laid bare. Your actions hereafter will pull at that thread, and we will see what it unravels. This is our chance. We must see this through and get to the bottom of it. I believe tis for the good of Delmasca and the good of the Empire. Very well, then. Thanks, Lamont. I must apologize. Hmm. Penelo, for you. May it bring you good fortune. Not the sight. Thanks. Let us go. Well, Asha leads the party. Penelo joins the party. You obtain a piece of manufactured nephesite. So not the site, I'll it's an actually accessory you can't equip, although I don't know why you'd want to. And it you equipped gives it silence, and it halves every element and gives you three magic resist. So if you're not using your MP, I guess it's not terrible. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the licenses and we're gonna do all that stuff we did for Ash not that long ago. We're gonna get all her stuff, so we're gonna get the battle bamboo battle bamboo. We're gonna unlock white armor light armor one through three. That will allow us to equip everything we have on Pinello. Everything that we needed. Now we're going to do essentially the same thing we did with the other guys. We're going to grab all the HP increases. the 230 that I got for everyone else earlier. Now we have to get her the quickening, which is also over here. In the original game, when you do a quickening, the tower will disappear because all the things are inter interacted, or inter interconnected, that means you can get that multiple times. There's three that you can get per license board, and you can only hold three. You can only use three. Let's grab both the, both the Quistor and the Martyr, or how you want to pronounce that. Grab the battle war to keep physical attack damage. Grab the light armor five, just to extend it a little bit, and alright, that's about all we can do for now. Go to Gambus for Pinel. She also has the cure spell. So we're gonna do this bow near visible attack. Make sure that probably we start us up first and we'll go to uh, ally under thirty HP cure. Just like I did with Ash. I think they purposely gave cure to those three characters because they knew that we were going to have problems. Alright, so now that we all set up, let's keep going. The boss battle is the same spot as where we go to hit the, where we claim to get the X at. So, before we enter the room, we have to make sure everyone is healed, at least for the most part. So it looks like Fran only needs like a potion. Boss looks like he used us a potion, and then Vaughn needs uh, at least one or two high potions. Okay, maybe just one regular potion now. Make sure everyone's fully healed. Good way to do it. Everyone has good HP, everyone's set. Alright, let's go in. Such a great shame. I must confess, I thought you the one who would help us restore peace to Dalmasca. No matter, we hold the proof of your royal lineage. A maid of passing resemblance will serve our purposes now. As for you, my dear. Oh boy, that's Empire not good. Requires you no more. Nephesite took it. What was that? 
the Nethocyte. <sighs> your majesty does not disappoint. Ever quick to spurn an honorable surrender, as was your father. You know nothing of my father! Alright, so the first thing we're going to notice is that we got three Imperial soldiers behind us. So obviously our first job is to take those guys out. With three, it's going to be slightly harder to do so, but still deal a decent amount of damage either way. See, that Judge Geese has an HP bar. Let me... No, that's fine the way it is. So a dart move from Judge Geese. And basically just a straight up beatdown. He's not doing a lot of damage with his attack, so I'm not worried about anything he can do. By this time, because I went through the mines, you're basically a little more power. So he's going to catch an area that's going to cause wind damage to everybody. Does about 170 damage to everyone. Catch Aereo again. Because he's barely causing anything at all. And you're going to notice I didn't knock his HP bar all the way down. It's because we didn't actually kill him. As you're going to see that Judge Geese is actually quite a, an older man, at least in his 40s. We've secured an Atomos. Come! An Atomos? A skiff no ship. Hardly fit for a leading man. So I can fly it then? You're mad. <laughs> Still, the detail in these freaking cutscenes is amazing. Has he gone too fast? They'd have noticed. <sighs> so we escape death once again. To Bujirba. Both here, your handkerchief. I thought you might want it back. I shall wear it close to my heart. Perhaps you forget all that Ondor has wrought. I do not forget, Majesty. It was by his counsel, dangerous though it may have been, that we were able to free you. You must meet with him, your highness, and give ear to his words. He may act in league with the Empire, but his heart is not. It is as he says. I ought not have kept Ondor at so great a distance for so long a time. I have played the fool. You were only being cautious. Majesty, I would ask you for some time. On our own, we struggle in vain to restore Delmasca. I must search out some other way. Until I should find it, I would have Bash remain at your side. Doubt him you may. But I measure his loyalty to Delmasca no less than my own. I know you would not speak so lightly. Very well. Keep her well. Go to Ondor and there await my return. There is one thing I gotta say about this game. It's for Ash. Um, for obvious reasons, they were very careful when they put the camera because I'm like, just in general, I'm first course they kept the short shirt that's short for the US, that's short for the US release because I see a lot of, I guess it was the PS2 area, but usually they lengthen skirt stuff so you can't see obviously what's underneath their skirt. And they're very careful, very cut with the cameras which just basically just out of range of you know, seeing anything else on her. And they did it to the entire game, that's quite impressive. Uh, I think everyone else is good on that. I think, yeah, everyone else is good. So let's head back and talk to Marquis. The Marquis. There's nothing else in the shot that we can really buy yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. So that's going to give orders that you're a grand audience, are you? 
you are prepared. Take me to him. Then please come this way. When Vossler learned my father had been killed the night of the treaty signing, he returned to Ravenaster, there to aid my escape. There was still time before Vane's reach extended too far. We thought that you could protect me. However, when I then made the announcement that you had taken your own life, I must have seemed a model citizen of the Empire. The announcement, you see, was Vane's suggestion. Of course, at the time I was reluctant, but I could not perceive his reasons. Now it is clear he meant to drive a wedge between us. Aline, we are past all this. Bushiba must stand with us. We can stop Vane. <sighs> I once knew a girl whose only wish was to be carried in her uncle's arms. Your majesty is a woman grown now. Then Bushirva will aid me. Suppose for a moment you were to defeat Vane. What then? You cannot simply rebuild your kingdom with the only proof of your birthright stolen. Without that, the Grand Kiltia Sanpo Omises cannot and will not recognize your majesty as the rightful heir. You have to claim you're an imposter. You may yet be a princess, but without proof of your identity, you are powerless. You will remain with me. We do nothing till the time is right. I cannot just wait. Then what does your majesty propose we do? Uh, Uncle Halim. Incidentally, what is the going rate for rescuing princesses these days? Food would be a start. The good stuff, mind you. This can be arranged, though it will take some time. Time enough for a bath, I hope. Dirty business, you know. Ah, best bring a change of clothes, too. What are you doing? This is Balthier's ship. I'm going to retrieve the Dawn Shard. It's the proof that I need. I know where it's hidden. I'll return his airship later. Are you crazy? <laughs> this is something that I have to do. Not only for myself, but for all those who have fallen. I will not be made to hide. I'll fight alone if I must. You still have Bosch, right? Besides, you can't just go around stealing people's ships. What are you trying to do? Get arrested? I'm trying to concentrate. That's quite enough, Your Majesty. What do you think? A bit over the top. <laughs> in my line of work, you never know when something like this might come in handy. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to concentrate. concentrate. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm leaving you with a Marquis. You can't! Trust me, you're better off staying here. Suppose you kidnapped me instead. You're a sky pirate, aren't you? Then steal me. Is that so much to ask? What do you have that I would want? The Dynast King's treasure. The Dawn Shard is but one of the riches that lie waiting in King Lathwal's tomb. <whistles> King Lathwal, you say? <laughs> Kidnapping royalty is a serious offense. It won't do much to lower the bounty on your head. How much is the price on your head these days, I wonder? <laughs> Allow me to escort you in Vossler's place. Will you be joining us? What? Are you kidding? I don't want to stick around this place. Then I'm coming too. No. Don't leave me here. <sighs> of course not. Then it's settled. We should leave before the Marquis realizes she's missing, like proper kidnappers. Yeah, 
Arcadian Empire, the imperial, city, imperial cities of Arcadians. I wonder if someone's recreated this entire thing like in Minecraft or something. Like in the entire city, that'd be amazing. Maybe like in a simulator or something like that. There's Gabron. Dr. Sid, does this set Draclaw? I have confirmed he receives funds from Lord Vane. His agency in the fall of Nabudis is also certain. Yet, with Judge Zekt, who led the assault, missing, the truth remains difficult to ascertain. The long, cold years have clouded my eyes. I cannot see my own son's heart. This illness will claim me. So then, who is to be my successor? The Senate fears the capable Peregrine Bane. They prefer a young, fledgling Emperor. Gebrant, once in the past I laid siege to your homeland. The Republic of Landis is long since gone. My allegiance lies wholly with the Empire. Perhaps. But what of your brother? He did not accept us as you did. He fled to Dalmasca. Did you never think to follow him? I follow his every move. He is a man of the Empire. He will be cut down. So you would kill even your own brother for the Empire. Be that as it may, Gebran. Your ruthlessness is not without merit. But it must not become this way with Larsa. Power corrupts. You must ensure that it does not. So then you ask me to be his sword. To strike where he might not. Rather be his shield. Gabran, keep your close watch on Vane. His is the keenest blade of all. My lord. Do this for me, Gabran. I could not... I could not bear to see my son... war with each other again. What kind of illness he has? It's just like a incurable disease or just something that's so strong no medicine can cure it. Damasca Wester Sand. And poof, it's gone. Wow. This come in handy often? It's tough being popular. Wouldn't want any admirers dropping in while we're away. Well now, that's as far as she goes. We'll be in Yaks from here onwards. Across the Sand Sea. To the Valley of the Dead, and to Keen Wraithwall's tomb below. Sounds like a perfect place for a summer vacation. Valley of the Dead. So mm -hmm. Skystones don't work at all. And that's why we gotta hoof it the rest of the way, you see? Happy you get to teach me something for a change? <laughs> well, if you wanna be a sky pilot, you gotta know your... Hey, what do you need for a change? Come on, at least we thought it. to bring it to you. Okay, so after we check out the nearby shop, we're going to save, and that's going to be the end of this video. I don't think there's anything really I could sell in terms of that. Except all the potions I got, maybe. 
Which they don't have much here either in terms of... No, I don't think they do. Or I can't board them more than six moves. That's weird. Oh, because I'm in the cell command. I guess that would help. Must stick. Oh, so they do have more poles here that I have to get. Um, let's see. 3,000 times 4. That's 3, 6. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, that ain't gonna happen. Not with a little I have to sell. Um, I guess I'll just leave that for now. What about... You have other stuff for light armor, too, but I can't get any of that stuff. So I guess we'll just have to leave it and um, get some equipment from the, from uh, beating enemies and then just sell it. All right. Let's do it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you want to see more of my comment, content, like, comment, subscribe. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.